Hello friends, in this particular video, I am going to take you through a very interesting course offered by Indian Institute of Banking and Finance and International Finance Corporation jointly. This course is called as Certificate Course in Climate Risk and Sustainable Finance. Uh, there has been a significant increase in climate risk over last few decades. At least the awareness about climate risk has gone up significantly. Countries and various organizations across the world are working to reduce climate risk. The climate risk arises because of various factors such as greenhouse gas emission which results into increased temperature and the increase in temperature is obviously causing global warming which is a huge risk or concern for governments as well as businesses but climate risk is not just confined to the increasing the rise in the temperature uh, you also have factors such as water scarcity uh, which also arises because of climate risk now uh, flooding related phenomena which have also increased during recent years and that has become a cause of concern uh, for governments if you are working in a bank or a financial institution you would have noticed that institutions are working to uh, reduce climate risk by funding uh, environment friendly businesses. They are, these banks and financial institutions also have set internal targets so that they can also contribute to reduction of climate risk. The point that I am trying to highlight here is that going forward, you will come across various activities and projects being undertaken by banks and financial institutions to reduce climate risk. And you would also see that various sources of funds would be used for reducing the climate risk. Now, these sources of funds, which are, for example, like green bonds uh, or, you know, uh, the other forms of funding, okay, blue finance or funding for the purpose of uh, reducing the uh, greenhouse gases emission will gain ground in the days to come. That is why it's very important to understand various aspects of climate risk and sustainable finance. The, this particular certificate by IIBF will help you to get decent understanding on these two topics. The best part of it is that this certification is very cost effective. Even if you are not a member of Indian Institute of Banking and Finance, you can do this course uh, in 1600 rupees. If you see similar courses offered by international organization, uh, they would charge you not less than 30 to 60,000. So you get the similar kind of understanding in a very nominal fees and that's why you must go for this particular certification. This certification has two levels, foundation and advance. Even before I move ahead, I will to tell you that I have already completed this certification. It took me around 15 hours of uh, dedicated learning followed by an assessment which is online. So you, you will get 50 questions to attempt and you need to correctly attempt 25 questions. There is no negative marking. So that is one benefit. So please uh, you know, enroll for this course and you can attempt the, the course not just for a certificate but also for learning purposes what gets covered so there are basically four sub modules within this particular course the first module is related to the various aspects of climate change sustainability and uh, the international conventions and some of the agreements which are there so you have uh, the 2000 paris agreement COP26 which happened in Glasgow and obviously IPCC uh, which is uh, related to intergovernmental panel on climate change. Okay, Certain aspects related to India are also covered here. The second aspect is related to sustainable climate and green finance differentiation and def uh, you know definitions. You will also get to know about taxonomy, uh, some interesting areas related to climate risk. Remember, you will have a lot of theoretical inputs here. That is why it makes sense to keep a book, which is a notepad and a pen ready with you so that you can note down relevant details. Please watch the video more than one time if you are not able to comprehend and try to attempt questions on your own. That will give you the understanding 
of the concept in a better way the third part of it is again you know are related to the risks which is physical risk and the transition risk okay and how central banks and regulators can best address climate risk and facilitate the net zero transition so net zero is a very important aspect of climate risk mitigation so that is also covered here there are some case studies also uh, covered in the course finally you have some of the regulations which are there related to carbon footprinting and accounting introduction to tcfd which is task force on climate related financial disclosures and the paris agreement related to capital transition assessment now if you go through this particular course this is very very content heavy and there's lot to be learned here so my suggestion is that you complete this course in phased manner okay and attempt it if you need any help uh, to understand the details of this course further please send me an email at healthofmywealth@gmail.com i am sure you would have found this video to be useful uh, so wishing you all the best and i hope you will attempt this particular course and pass it